Hi everyone and welcome. Today I would like to talk to you about a new most secure way of authentication that GitHub has introduced which is through the SSH protocol. Um, doing that is quite simple. All you have to do is run a series of commands and then um, add your public key to your GitHub profile and uh, you should be good to go. So the first thing that you have to do is navigate to GitHub and uh, sign into your account. Now, before we add the keys, I'd just like to show you how you can use that to clone any projects. So I'm going to click on this one. And from here, I'll click on code and select the SSH tab. I have the link over here, so I'm going to copy that now and then go to Git Bash. I already have Git Bash installed. In case you do not, uh, you can see my video which should be appearing on the top right corner now. So let's try to clone this repository. Right, so as you can see over here, permission denied because the public key could not read from remote repository. And that's because right now, I do not have any keys added. So let's go ahead and uh, try to add those keys. For that, on the top right corner, click on the profile icon and then from there, navigate to settings. Once you're in the settings tab, click on SSH and GPG keys. Now over here, GitHub has provided a very helpful article uh, which lists all the commands that you would need to run. It can be a bit confusing, so I'm just going to use that as a reference and then only run the relevant commands. So from here, we want to go to the third link which is generating a new SSH key and adding it to the SSH agent. So let's scroll down a bit and this is the first command that we want to run. And this right here is a placeholder where you will be entering your email address that it is associated with your GitHub account. So I'm going to copy this now and run this in the Git Bash terminal. It will then ask me which file I want to save this key in and I'm just going to select the default one hit and hit enter. Then you have the option to add a passphrase to the key. I'm going to leave that as blank by clicking on enter and then hitting the enter again. And the key is generated. So let's move back and scroll down a bit again. Now the next command that we want to run is to check if the SSH agent is running. For that you can simply just copy this command and run this in the git bash terminal. And we can see that it is indeed running and after that we want to add the ssh private key to the ssh agent you can do that by simply copying this command and running this in the git bash terminal and as we can see identity has been added so that was pretty much it that we wanted to do from this article you can leave the rest of it as is and then navigate to the adding a new ssh key to your github account because that's the last step we want to take our key and then add it to our github profile for that copy this command and run that in the git bash terminal and what it would do is copy to the clipboard uh, the relevant content that needs to be paste it over here. So move back to this window which was under settings and then SSH and GPG keys. In here click on new SSH key and when you right click and select paste it will copy the key that needs to be added. You can give it a user friendly title to help you remember where this SSH key was added on. So I'm going to uh, name it Windows VM. Just so that I remember that I added this on a Windows virtual machine and then click on add SSH key. Now before I end this video I just wanted to do a quick verification that everything was working. So for that I'm just going to navigate to a repository and uh, yeah repeat the same process that we did in the start. We'll copy this URL and uh, go to git bash and try to clone this. And let's see how it goes. 
All right, as you can see, the cloning was successful. And if we navigate to the downloads folder, we should be able to see this repository over there. So let's go there and yeah, there we have it. Enforcement learning with all of the files available. So that's it for this video. I hope it helped. In case you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section below. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a good day. Cheers.